your ball in the trees and then you live out the park. But if you've got a little time, then come and spend it with us. Cause now you're listening to the rough cut. Hello, 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 and welcome to officially the start of the golf season we are coming to you the monday after the masters even though this is released on the tuesday because we record a day in advance and boy we are pumped up about what 2024 has to hold because the masters has just been completed scotty scheffler has stomped all over the field like michael flatley in his best river dance days i am joined by Mr. Mick, Mr. Mick, Mr. Kieran, and Mr. Jacob um, <laughs> for Mick. this uh, Masters podcast. How are we all doing? Excellent. I'm very tired. Yeah, I'm tired. As well. <laughs> it was a late one. Yeah, I'm probably not as tired as I could have been. Yeah. Um, how how late did we stay up to watch this? Um, I waited till Tommy hadn't won. Yeah. <laughs> when Tommy hold his part on we 18, could have gone to uh, bed after the first tee on the first round, mate. Wow. Wow. Tom, when well, Tom, someone's given up hope. Yeah. <laughs> when Tommy held his putt on 18, I was like, right, well, he didn't go nuclear. So mm. I imagine that Scott is going to win. I had a little hope in my heart for Aberg to come and you know, come and do something mad, but I didn't I didn't anticipate that happening. So I was in bed by 11. Mm. Yeah, I was, I was the 16th. So yeah. Then yeah. I went over. Scott, Scotty hitting the 16th green to me was the... Yeah, the big tick. Is that yeah. because is that because that's the only time he could have ruined it uh, for himself? The water disappears, yeah. so it's just okay. Well, yeah. he could hit it in the trees, but then it's just a bunt out when he makes a bogey or something. So, yeah. 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 I stayed until the bit around because I actually care about my job <laughs> um, <laughs> and the research that I put into it. So until the bitter end, I was watching, and you're in that weird situation where you're actually. I I, I I didn't mind Scotty winning. I'm actually really enjoying him kind of play recently, but. It was more that thing where you're just hoping for someone else to come through or him to mess up so it brings some other people into the field, which obviously didn't happen because it's Scotty Scheffler and he is a cyborg. So, unfortunately, we will get on to Scotty and exactly the amazing things um, that he did. But I think we have to first discuss the players who got near him and then completely capitulated and maybe some of the disappointments of the week as well. But before we do dive into that and we get our shovels out to dig through the miasma of stories that came from the Masters. We thank you. We first have to also tell you that the Golf Bitter Challenge, the selection of the clubs, is now live on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked that out, the main YouTube channel, the Peter Finch Golf YouTube channel, um, if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. Yeah, that's all I've got to say is about that. Is that all you got to say? That's all I've got to say about that. <laughs> don't, don't, no, tell them, do. don't tell them what clubs you selected. Although you were... Oh, actually, you... The video's out. Yeah, what does you it can say whatever yeah. you want now. Um, Kieran was hitting that five wood this morning. It's, it's bloody lovely, that thing, isn't mm. it? It's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's a great looking club. Yeah. I actually think that was my favourite club I picked. If you want to see how I hit it, though, you do have to wait until Friday. Uh, before that, our video from Harbour Town comes out as well. There's a lot of There's content. There's so much tent. There's a lot of content coming out right now, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Get down to those comments and let us know if you are. Um, back to the main event. Uh, if you do hear, by the way, some, oh, yeah. it is, if you hear like some static in the background, it's not static. Um, the great British Isles have welcomed the official start of the golf season <laughs> by literally hailing. The only way they know how. <laughs> hailing on our heads. Like, it's just a welcome back to reality. So... Good day to get a ferry. A f- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be out there. I've got oh, to be honest. I forgot about that. I'm, I'm, yeah. so, I'm so focused on what we're doing. After this, we are getting a ferry to Ireland in about 40 mile an hour winds and hail. Yeah. It's going to be great. Are you I'm on not the quick eating boy? any food. Is it the quick boy? No. Is it the... No, the slow one. Thankfully, it's the slow one. I was going to say, one. otherwise you would be... Yeah, the, the quick one would be bouncing, bouncing everywhere. So The good, news, the good the news about one. the weather is that it's going to stop precisely as we finish the podcast. That's good. Well timed, everyone. Well, it's just nice. It's nice to bring the realism to the to the listening ears around the world. A big thank you to everyone in the United Arab Emirates as well as we are the number one golf podcast uh, well done you lot <laughs> in the UAE. keep it going come on uh, we're, we're ticking them off we were number one in India uh, that's a mad one that that's mad now, the, the golfing oh, population could, in India yeah. is pretty small. Could we be the only golf podcast it, in India? It, it potentially. Potentially. It could be just like one really dedicated guy in India. If, if, like you're, if you're listening from a like, from a, not a strange country, but from a country that we wouldn't expect you to be listening from, please comment below and tell us where you're listening from. Because if you are listening in India, well, clearly someone is because we're rocking but, up there. So let, let us know where you're listening from. On YouTube demographics, you can also check where people are watching from. Wicked. Because so, I've, I've told you about yeah. the guy in, I had one guy by the watch time and the amount of views. 
one guy who was like a hardcore watcher in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Oh, so the, D- the, the DRC. Like, which is not a renowned golfing country. No. Like, so there's just one one guy or one girl just dedicated. So I love it. if you are listening yeah, from if that's you. far-flung aisles, please let us know. We'd <laughs> love to know where you're tuning in from. So also what we tuned into was the Masters. Terrible segue, but yes, we got that. not your best. Um, now, Scotty was, I must admit, he was the one that I picked before the week and everyone else I picked was in hope. More than anything. Yes, we did. We did go through our predictions on the last episode of the podcast, and there was an asterisk next to every name that we, you know, threw threw out into the world as a potential winner. It was Joaquin Neiman if Scotty doesn't win. You know, it was Wyndham Clark if Scotty doesn't win. Whoever. So we kind of knew that it was his tournament. Based on how he's playing, it was his tournament to lose, um, and he just didn't. No. And it was just, I think, as soon as he hits the front, there's a an inevitability about inevitability, inevitable, well, inevitability yeah. about an it. Enemy. Cool. An Thank enemy. you. Thank you very much, yeah, guys. Very <laughs> 10 out of 10 for me this morning. Thank you. <laughs> Get um, that coffee I down. I'm practically <laughs> the Scottish chef of the podcast game. I know this. Uh, it was just a case of when he hit the front, it was his to lose. And that's such yeah. a weird position to be in. There's very few players who have that sense about them. Mm. And he is very much turning into, you know, he's not the new Tiger because everyone who was around in the Tiger era, it's just, it's not the same thing by any means. Mm -hmm. But stats-wise, data-wise, performance-wise, and that feeling of inevitability. inevitability. Oh my God, stop (laughs) leading yourself to the word that you can't say. (laughs) He, He does have that sense about him. And it's good to watch and i think we probably need to get on board with enjoying watching him win because mm. it's going to become a bit more yeah, frequent so you're gonna have to mm. i did enjoy watching butch sort of slowly twitch every time nick did mention it. it was like oh this is the kind of closest thing we've seen to tiger in a while and he was just sort of slowly raging like he's not been doing it for long enough but it was it was nice to see him sort of concede the fact that actually the way he's playing right now is as good as Tiger has yeah, yeah. at his pump. I mean, statistically it is. The, the only difference really last year, well, last two years, is the fact that he wasn't putting as well as he could have. Mm-hmm. So he didn't dominate to the extent. Like, yeah. he, he dominated top tens. Yeah. Like, but last April after uh, the Masters, then he didn't kind of go on to, to win, really. And then now he's won the players... And he's won the Masters. Will he now carry on throughout like, the year? It was like three three wins in four, and yeah. the other one was a second. He's the yeah. first player <laughs> since Tiger to win the Masters, Bay Hill, and players all in one year. It's wild. So there you go. And all because Rory to told him to switch to a mallet hmm. putter. Yeah, yeah, I know. How bad's that? Mm. Well, not bad. Uh, it's not bad, obviously. But to think that he's gone from putting like he did do to putting average... And we have to say that that is a big step up and it just confirms what we were saying last year that if he put it like an average golfer, he would have won 13 times last year. Yeah. He's already won three times. Yeah. Yeah. So, only <laughs> 10 to go. Could, could, be the, could be the year. To be fair, you did call it out at the start of the year as well. You were like, I, it, that's it, your prediction. It, it's weird just how good he is. Mm. Yeah. It is considering how his swing looks and we can get into the technical aspects of it um, but how it looks and how he kind of works his way around the golf course in comparison to other golfers is absolutely wild and he does it so consistently I'm, I'm, I'm on board with the Scotty train I must admit yeah, it was a it was an interesting tournament as well because there was a few big disappointments in terms of like you know Rory obviously Wyndham Clark Brooks you know these players that we thought were going to be big Brian uh, Harmon current yeah. uh, current best uh, champion golfer of the yeah, year yeah 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 but then there was players like Aberg you know Aberg and do you know even Morikawa you know Morikawa in the yeah. last year year and a half has done not, not a lot, lot. so <laughs> like you know it was really it was nice it was good to see him up there and you know. Obviously, what hole did he have that double bogey on? Oh, nine, wasn't it? Nine and then 11 as nine, well. Nine, 11, and then, yeah, it's just... Well, yeah. It's mostly, it was aim and corner that kind of, again, yeah. really separated the players. You had Morikawa, who, yes, he doubled nine, but it was when he hit it into the water on 11 that you knew he'd gone. Yeah. Obo was just going along like an absolute train, hits it in the water on 11. Mm-hmm. Max playing well up there, hits it into the bush on 12. Yeah. And it all kind of happened in one moment as well, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. Just everyone just sort of disbanded. Yeah. And it was, <laughs> Scotty was just left at the that top. That was the, pe- the, the period of the tournament where you were like, 
oh okay it, yeah. we were waiting for that for the entire well, it was, it Sunday it was poised it and was it, so there was a yeah. moment where Scotty had dropped down to six under and there was about four of them sat there yeah. Tommy was three back I think there was a couple of other Bryson guys was still was up in, there at that point it was just like yeah. hang on a minute we might be in for a yeah. serious Sunday showdown yeah. here yeah. and then found ourselves in the last five holes just kind of like, oh he's won <laughs> do you think Aberg should have gone for it on 11 like he he went pin seeking I thought there mm, he, and he, then and then turned it over and you know the wind was obviously going right to left as well I mean th this is very much um Hindsight, speaking yeah. from the couch what is it quarterback yeah, Ca yeah. couch uh, quarterback or whatever it's called mm -hmm. armchair quarterback that's the same yeah but you could just see that he was aiming at the right edge of the green, hoping for the wind to bring it back. And he just he just let it mm. just let it go a little bit left, just trying to get it towards that pin. And you know from watching the Masters over the year that as soon as you start to chase that kind of pin on Sunday, on eleven, it's gonna overdraw and it's gonna go in the water. So it's it's understandable and it's obviously forgivable because it's a 520 yard par four. Yep. It's a difficult hole. You're gonna mm -hmm. you're gonna mess up at some point around Augusta. What we do have to say about Obo was, I don't think anyone really massively expected him to be up there challenging. He's a very good golfer and he will be a superstar in the future. Mm -hmm. Well, from now into the future. This is his first major. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely it's crazy. absurd. 11 months ago, I think it was, 12, 12 months ago, say, he was literally playing college golf tournaments. And in that time, he's won twice, once on DP World Tour, once on the PGA Tour. He's played in the Victorious Ryder Cup team, and now he's just finished second in the major. Yeah, it's, cra it's crazy. That is wild. Special player. And he just Special. looked like he was having so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. It was there's, there's when, many conspiracy theories, right? You know, uh, that guy knocks the um, uh, knocked his, like, oh, his uh, energy bar, yeah. energy bar yeah. out of his hand. And then since then, after that, he went like par double, uh, you know. Like, yeah, I saw just that. Just sort of fell apart a little We're bit. We're going to find but, that guy. Um, like, like, we got the internet sleuths in the comments, right? Let's find out whoever that was. He knocked that bar out of his hand. Meredith Sheffler just like, <laughs> <laughs> threw in there with a fist. <laughs> Surprised him. Yeah. Not today. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, oh. No, it was like, and you, you speak about like how well he just presented himself throughout the whole thing. And like he, he made that double on 11 and then he's handing his putter back to the caddy and he's like, laughing he's like smiling yeah. about it and just I was like to have that reaction of like you've probably lost the ability to win the, the masters right there mm. but he's not he doesn't look like he's thinking like that. i think he's it's like it, it's like reverse rory syndrome isn't it like the reason that oberg played so well is because no one expected him to be there and no he didn't have any of that and then they mentioned it in the in the kind of hours and hours of build up before they actually showed any live golf on sky they're saying that he doesn't have the scar tissue of this course he is not scared he's not worried about mm. Mm. oh i'm not worried about that water whereas the opposite is rory's expectation on rory is so high at this tournament that he goes out there panicked and worried about oh my god this is the one i need i need this i need this i need this and it mm. reflects in the fact that he you know bats it around for three yeah. and a half rounds i think i think with Ober as well he doesn't have that scar tissue of a venue which you return to um he also has said in interviews before that he just doesn't feel the pressure when no. he's on the golf yeah. course which I, I i have to say that looking at him that appears to be the case yeah yeah like it doesn't seem like it's bravado it doesn't seem like he's just chatting Same for the sake that, of it. yeah so that's a an incredible feat in itself. That's a bloody superpower for a golfer. Mm. I, I mean, this this week we've seen so many golfers, I think, talk about the mental approach that they have um, and some really good storylines coming from that. And w I think I've seen that a lot this year, actually, from kind of Wyndham Clark to Max Homer, who's like seems to come out of the thinking man's golfer this week, Scotty's mm -hmm. approach, obviously, Ober. And then we can contrast that to what appears to be going on with Rory because he is very open about it and that's one thing you do have to give him credit for he doesn't really seem to shy away too much if he does have a bad round and you could see that afterwards there was a lot of emotion there because it's another missed opportunity at the major that everyone thinks he can win and Mick I think you are right the the the, the scar tissue that you have from returning to a venue year after year and not performing to the best of your ability that will work in reverse. Like when Tiger goes to the Masters, imagine all the m amazing memories he can draw on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's got five wins there. He can just draw on those positives. He can see the amazing shots that he's hit time after time again. 
and potentially with Rory, he's going there and just feeling that disappointment. Like mm-hmm. he's, he's behind the eight ball before he even begins. So hopefully he can get over that. But we're in a realistic situation now where you're looking at all these players coming through. You're looking at the depth of talent. and yeah, He's getting overtaken a bit, isn't he? Yeah, there's a chance he's not going to do it. And the mm. players have done this before. Like Phil Mickelson, he should have won the US Open in his career. Yeah, he's yeah. by far a good enough golfer. This should have happened. Spieth mm-hmm. should have won the worst major championship <laughs> in the US PGA. Hot take. But he hasn't. <laughs> you know, these players, you look at them and say, they should do this. Yeah, mm. We talk, we talk about hard. Grand Slams as well for like, Half a second there, you're going. Morikawa's seventy five percent. You know he's going to yeah. he's going he's going to do this, and he's going to be one off. Yeah, mm. yeah. For someone who we have had the kind of same conversation, like I picked him for, a, and, and we'll get into the major picks in a little bit. But like I picked him last year, thinking, you know, he's had a little, he's had a year off, and then he had another year off last yeah, year, yeah. and suddenly he's talking of putter switches with uh, Scheffler. He switched his putter du- during the tournament. Yeah. 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 After round one, he's like, twice, is, I thought, I don't this like this. is it working? And you know what? I love that. Yeah. So, I respect well, that. The, first of all, to have the awareness to go, yeah, the putter's not working for me. And second off, to have the bravery to go, I'll switch this during the first major of the year yeah. whilst I'm in contention. Absolutely amazing choice. Because, it, I mean, it worked out for him. He putted really well. Yeah. It, I would say that looking at the leaderboard and where Morikawa finished, because it, it was a surprise. You mm-hmm. know, he, he hasn't been playing good golf. Yeah. Um, we all know the quality that he possesses. is a fantastic player. But he has had a couple of down years. And for him to be up at the top of the leaderboard challenging probably took him by surprise. Because yeah. he had new driver, new putter, new ball, <coughs> new three wood. Like that's a lot of new things going on for a yeah. major tournament. Yeah. And he managed to make it work in his favour. So him over Homer, I think that's his best finish in a major as well. Yeah, so yeah. we had a lot of players up there challenging Scotty. And Scotty must have looked at him and thought, okay, fantastic golfers. But I've been here. Yeah, they've yeah. not got this pedigree. Yeah, that's the other yeah. <clears throat> Morikawa, yes, but also... He's not been there for a while, so he, he must have looked around and said, "You know what? I'm, I'm, I think I've got this." Could the could the like um, the second through sixth have got together and played a scramble? <laughs> <laughs> they, they still want to beat him. Yeah. Do you know who I, was, who I was a little bit not, not disappointed but surprised at was Deshambo. Like that mm-hmm. final, obviously he had that. Speaking great, of new clubs, well, yeah, had, had, had a great first round, and then on that final day, I don't know if you guys saw this, but he had a lot of birdie putts mm-hmm. and just you know, part of his. You know, very, very cold. Yeah. Um, so if, if some of them would have gone in. He, he didn't look very comfortable. I know he doesn't look he comfortable does. anyway. No. But he doesn't look very, he didn't look very comfortable that last round. Like the putts weren't starting online. They didn't have the right pace, but. It was quite stabby, I thought. Yeah. Tee to green, though. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. I well, thought it was absolutely brilliant. I think he was leading strokes gained off the tee. Yeah. Um, obviously, mm. it, it's hard for him not to because of the distance that he hits yeah. it. However, on the greens, he didn't look comfortable. But also, that's his best finish in the Masters. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. you know, let's not think that this is a course which is tailor made for him. This is his best finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no. I just mean that, like, if imagine, I know it's hindsight, isn't it? But it's just like, imagine if, like, a couple of those were going in early, it, you know, it could have been very, very different sort of thing. However, he's not used to playing four rounds. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, very, don't. It's very true. <laughs> Can, can we, we get it out of the way? Can we just get it out of the way? Can we get it out of the way? Just drop this now. Mm-hmm. Can we get now? it out of the way? I'm, I'm so, it's such a boring thing to say. I'm, I'm, I know why you said it, but it's such like a boring thing to say that people pull out. And Wyndham Clark, man, what a tool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He oh made God. himself look with that yeah. comment. That's so funny. What a moron. Why would he say that? Yeah. It felt so unsolicited as well. Like it didn't need to be said. Yeah, yeah. Like completely. I just don't know why. Yeah. It's so, so bizarre. But we, I think, in our preview episode, we were talking about DeChambeau and saying about how we thought maybe his time in terms of getting into majors was running out with his win. Now, obviously, this does get him back next year, yeah, yeah. which is Excellent. good for him. That's good news. There's a few guys, obviously, I think it's um, 12 and ties gets you back automatically yeah, right. for next yeah. year. Yeah. So there's a few, like um, Pavon is a really good one, I think. Like He's slowly becoming a really, really, really good golfer out of nowhere. Like He's obviously <clears throat> won on the DP World Tour, but he's now almost top 30 in the world. Finished T12. He gets back, which is great to see. Um, you know, there's, there's there's a few guys. I think Patrick Reed as well. He's he's also, I know, past Unf- champion. So unfortunately, he's not he gets to come back every year, Jacob. That's true. <laughs> um, but I'm just, you know, it's just the things that we have to look at with these live guys until yeah. we know what's going on with Hatton. Hatton, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another oh, can one. We, can we have a talk about Hatton's final round, please? <laughs> 
Yeah, it was a what bit... What on earth happened to him? Yeah. He I mean, just went absolutely nuts. He, he, he was going well. He actually kind of yeah, he dropped, dropped, he dropped, dropped, yeah. Yeah. dropped a little bit at the end, but it was... I don't know. Every time they, every time he popped up on TV, I was like, "Oh, this has got to be for part." And it was like eagle putt, and you're yeah. like, "What?" He looks insanely <laughs> he looks unhappy with that. <laughs> he did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think mean, that's a that's a very Hatton-y thing to do, isn't it? To be yeah, absolutely he, tearing Augusta up and still be angry. It looked like it, he was leaning into it. It, it, it does bit. make me laugh every time I see it because he hates it as well. He, <laughs> he's never spoken about that course well at all. And any time he plays it well, I'm like, "Are you having a good time?" <laughs> or are you just so like, funny. I'm, I must be honest. Like, if anyone can go through the archives and find the moment where kind of Tyrrell turned around and said, you know what? I actually really like that course. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's one of my favourites. <laughs> like, I don't think he ever comes out and says it. Unless he, unless he really dislikes like, he it, he doesn't have comment good on the vibes. course. He's played well there. He's had good rounds. He just never seems to enjoy himself. <laughs> uh, well, that's what he does. I think I think with Han, though, like him being up there was good. And like I said, with Deshambo, like it was good him being up there as well because they're all characters that bring something else to the game. Mm. Obviously, yeah. that's what Liv have mostly done. They've targeted those kind of players to come yeah. over. Yeah. Um, so to have them up there, I think it's generally good news. And I imagine by this point next year, the professional golf landscape is going to look quite different. Yeah. It was interesting to see like how much they were sort of talking about Liv as well. I don't know if you guys noticed that as well, but last year I seem to remember not like... Live golf wasn't really mentioned much, mm. whereas like this year, I thought it was you know pretty well mentioned. It's good. I think a couple of times they they went to say live, and they then correct that maybe they had been coached to say the other tour instead yeah. of to say you know instead of to call it its name because mm. I am the other place. No, because I heard a couple of times they went to say live tour and corrected themselves and said the other tour mm. or another tour instead of giving it its name. So a little bit of coaching potentially. I think it's just ingrained into them. Yeah. There. Yeah, they who shall not be named. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the Voldemort of golf. Oh, don't say his name. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Oh my Voldemort. God. <laughs> um, I think with a lot of some of the other kind of stories to uh, come out of the week, you had Zach Johnson really endearing himself um, God, to the patrons. Things have gone way downhill. It's the second him. time he's done this now. Yeah, and oh, yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah. was it waste management? waste management? Yeah, yeah. I think the the denial of it was pretty bad because you, you can <laughs> show him the video you can kind of like <coughs> the, the thing is you can understand in that moment the frustration why he may have said that you know he's just tapped in for a triple bogey there's a cheer from the crowd which may have been ironic may not have been you know he's not endeared himself to the american golf fans over nope. the past 12 months for a few different reasons and then he just looked and swore at them. Yeah. And then to deny that afterwards by saying he didn't hear them and he couldn't hear backwards, when in fact in the video he was facing towards them. Mm. Like, uh, by the way, if this is if you're new to biology, if something happens behind you, you can still hear it. <laughs> that is not how sound works. Okay. Unless he's like listening with his eyes, like you can hear things which are happening behind you. So that's really not an excuse. And just the way that he did it was, it was obvious what was happening. So I don't know why he just did say, you know what, sorry, I was frustrated. I apologize. To like lean into it like that was was really weird. Just making things worse for himself. Yeah. yeah. His, right. his end of career downfall is just remarkable. For a yeah. man who's won a Masters and an Open, should be an American golfing hero. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. like say in the space of 12 months, his Ryder Cup appearance, yeah. they're not exactly... Um, Picked all his mates and then lost. Yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't do too great for him. And now, you say, in the last six months, he's attacked patrons with <laughs> verbal verbal warnings about, shut up, don't talk to me. It's just not very Zach Johnson. No, is it's it? not. I'm going to say it now, Zach Johnson to live. <laughs> <laughs> They're after characters. They like interaction with fans. He's your perfect signing. Just imagine, like, uh, Zach, listen, I know you're near the end of your career. Um, what we really need you to do is focus on fan interaction. <laughs> Could you just be horrible to some people, please? <laughs> Anytime you hear anything, we need you to mouth off. Yeah, could you throw some clubs as well? That would be oh, great. A bit of windmill. Now, that is one thing I can't imagine. Can you imagine Zach Johnson windmilling a putter across the green? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, like, now I can. Yeah, yeah. I, I could never do that. But now I'm thinking of it. I could see a club snap. Yeah. I could, oh, yeah, I could just see a vicious throw down. Yeah. Oh, okay. who, who, did we see, who did we see miss a green and almost throw a club into the crowd? Might have been Neiman, actually. 
Not that oh, talk I can't remember. Yeah, it was on the coverage. Uh, yeah, Neiman. So we'll get to Jacob, mm. Jacob's pick. No, we no, we won't. Ja- We're going to get there right now. Jacob, <laughs> Jacob went through the stats, as he does at every major tournament, and decided that Joaquin Neiman was the tournament winner. Didn't go particularly well for you. However, that, <clears throat> that's the be- that's the whole point of it. Is like if I could pick the winner every time, then it would be easy, wouldn't it? I can't. Yeah. Okay. I've just got to. I've just got to go off what I'm. What I can find out. Listen, it didn't go too badly. T twenty two is not awful. No, it's not. However, someone made a terrible prediction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? <laughs> God, as if Brooks was going to win. Come on, Kieran. Think about what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. Listen, my boy Nick Taylor. You know, he, <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't play great. He did not play he, well. He didn't play, play great. Well. He got. Uh, he was actually one of the. We'll talk about like course conditions, well, actually, because he was one of the players who seemingly got absolutely smashed by the weather. I think it was very unexpected, like especially on Friday. Mm. When it started to blow at like forty miles an hour, yeah, it was kind of lateish on, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. and the greens like, were so firm, and the fairways were firm. The one thing they were worried about when the storm came in on the Thursday, which delayed the start of play, was that it would soften the course up, and then not just the the bombers would get the big advantage. Which we kind of sort of see, you know, Deschambeau yeah. shot seven under on the first day. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. it, it was a little bit softer, a little bit more playable. But then all of a sudden, it firms up, and the wind started gusting, and it was the point where I felt a bit you know what, I don't feel sorry for them, but at the same time, I'm like, that looks hard. Yeah, yeah. the course is bad enough as it is. Yeah. I don't also need 40 mile an hour wind. Well, how many players were on the par? Nine in total, I think it was? Nine yeah. players? Something like that, yeah. I so, mean, on, on that day, um, I think there might have been five or six mm. rounds and there, on and the there was And there was eight, eight on, rounds in, 80s, in the 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah on, no, I think, I think on the uh, on that Friday, I think um, Aubert was the only one to shoot in the 60s. Yeah. Right. Was the only, that was might, one round in the city. It was a 69. That was the only one. It's crazy. For, for the Masters, I know the Masters does play tough at times, but you think of the Masters, you think of exciting birdies. Mm. You don't think of a grind. Yeah. And that's what it really, really was. They they did soften it up for the last day, and they had the most traditional pin placement you could yes. possibly have mm. for yes. a Masters. Mm. You knew exactly where every single one of them was going to mm-hmm. be, which was good. Yeah. It was, and but we... I think we've mentioned it in the past that sometimes, and especially when we were going into from 13 onwards, once you get around Amen Corner, if someone is fairly significantly in the lead, there's not really, if as long as they don't do anything stupid, the kind of drama is not really there. Mm. We haven't seen as many, you know, speed fats into waters and things in the last couple of years. I know Smith put the, water, the ball in the water at 12 a couple of years ago, but it's actually not as close as you might think it could be yeah. as, uh, unless t- people are piling on top of each other it, you know, yeah. a, a four stroke lead going into 13 14 is never really going to be with overdone si- with now. 16 being the last water you see and that, it being a par three is and with the pins like mm. you say if scotty showed it on 16 if you play it right you can put it pretty close 14 as well if you hit it in a good spot that was in a bowl mm. it was how many times you saw birdies there but that's yeah. the thing is that's what, that's what they want on the final round they want yeah. They, they want, oh, the they want it, which is fine. But if we don't have that clump of players at the top, actually, it's not as close as you think. And if you've got that guy who's come running up the leaderboard who posts, uh, say someone, you know, Tommy went crazy and put eight under. At the time, you would think, oh, hang on a minute. But Scotty's still got to come through all these holes, which mm. then eventually escapes them. And it's like, oh, well, actually, it's got to be done. Obviously, they've got to do the, it. The, but... tournament, the tournament going down the back would have been much, much closer if those three mistakes that you mentioned yeah. hadn't happened. It, so if, yeah. if Morikawa, Aberg, and Homer hadn't made those stakes on Amen Corner, we, we, we wouldn't have been looking at a four-shot lead. We'd have been looking yeah. at a two-shot lead. Yeah. The, the, the reason it felt a little bit flat is because rather than Scotty, like, he did obviously go out and win, but rather than like going out and winning with all these exciting birdies... He just survived that stretch yeah, while yeah. everyone else Definitely, fell away. Yeah, 100%. So that, that's why he kind of felt a little bit flat. But Amen Corner decided, again, this tournament with bad shots rather than like with the excitement. Mm-hmm. And, and you are right. Like, you know, the stats show that if you are leading or in the final group going into that last round, generally you're going to be the winner. Yeah, it hasn't, the, hasn't the winner come from the final group for the last like six it, tournaments right, or something? But even you know bigger scale than that yeah. it's like 28 of the last 33 or something oh, it's, wow. it's, yeah. it's it's a lot because because jacob is right it does sometimes give a bit of a false perspective mm. um because if you do make a charge like you said the leaders have to then come through themselves mm-hmm. um i mean i'm going to say it and slightly controversial take okay okay 
We like those on here. The last two holes at Augusta kind of stink. Eighteen is really four. Like like for excitement. Uh, yeah. Bit, okay. Bit meh. Bit meh. Like if you think about what comes before it. Yeah. Mm. Like, like I said, Scotty got into those last two holes. Everyone went to bed because they knew that there was not going to be that many birdies from anyone else yeah. and not that many bogeys from him. Yeah, but what can they, what can they, what can they do? Just yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. bunker the hell out of them. I, I've got a ball plan. <laughs> Here we go. I've got a ball plan. So we all know how steep uh, the 18th is. <laughs> what, a reddish? Yeah, yeah. because uh, <laughs> it's the same elevation over the 18th at Reddish on. Uh, reddish Vale because it's the same course designer. So we know it's quite downhill. So how about this? Uphill. Okay. <laughs> Depends which way you're looking at it. <laughs> Imagine this. Cast your imagination onto this, all right? Because you all know how much of a fan I am of the 18th of the Earth course. Oh, yeah. At Jemira. Oh, no. so, oh, God. A river <laughs> from a natural spring right at the front of the 18th green. A stream coming all the way down the middle of the fairway, winding its way around the corner and ending in a dramatic 40-foot waterfall right where the edge of the fairway is now. <laughs> at, I think at I, the driver landing zone, you mean? Oh, no, no, that's where the, the stream curves <laughs> right, right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Those bunkers, we extend them. So those two bunkers at the back, we make them one, extend them around to the left-hand side as well. Oh. Yeah. You, yeah. See, you see what I'm saying? I'm starting I'm to see it. it. Yeah. I, I mean, I think this is very Augusta, don't you? I, I, I can see it. Yeah. A couple of palm trees, I reckon, as well. They've, there's a lot of holes that have got rivers <laughs> running through but them at Augusta. We need a cart path in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> cart path <laughs> to the right. Take some of those trees out to the right. Take a cart path all the way windmill. through. Windmill. We'll have a windmill. Yeah. <laughs> there's, like, there is a, there's a few holes that has that. I mean, I think in previous years, we've seen them. Been got, People have gone into them more than before, like 15. I don't think I really saw anyone go into the water. No, no. Maybe take that one out, chuck the, it on 18. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. We um, A couple of people but sprayed I'm, I'm, it over I'm the on back, about, didn't they? I'm on about around the green. I'm on about the one that goes down the left-hand oh, side. Oh, yeah, no one, yeah. no one goes in there. Like, it's untouched now. So get that out. Yeah. Put that up 18. Pick that bit of water yeah, out. Like, just like take you're it out. Like, yeah, exactly, or yeah. Pick it up. That's how it, it works. Dump it in front of the green the, at 18. The thing is, Augusta can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Like if yeah. they, they make changes every year. If, so I just... if, if they want to make a change, or the 13th tee obviously was was kind of really moved back. Oh, yeah, we'll get go back further another into the trees. and 50 that yards next year, isn't it? Look beautiful with all the azaleas. Um, like the fifth hole now is pretty established. That looks really good. Yeah. So they'll make changes and they'll make and adapt um, how things are going to look in the future. But uh, the, the core of the course, I don't know. It feels... You had Tiger winning which was obviously dramatic. But I, I don't really remember that much of an exciting no, yeah. round I, I during, agree the last, with that. during the eight, last 18 of the Masters. But no, I agree. I, I, I think it could have been. Yeah, it could I, have been. It very yeah. much could have been. Like, you know, we had, it was tight. It I, would I have think, been tight. I think what you say, I don't, I don't quite agree with 17, 18 not being super, but I think... Rip them up, Saga. I think... <laughs> oh, God's sake. I would say that you could extend that and say that from after Amen Corner, which... Has you know obviously this year did show its teeth. People put it in the water, but I think from 13 onwards to 18, because we go back every year as a finishing stretch to a major, I think it's not great because it's it doesn't it seems like it could bare its teeth a little bit. But yeah. actually, how good these guys are now, and there is ways that you can play it to make it a little bit less difficult. I think so. I mean, you you talk about you know Pinehurst in a few month's time that run of holes to finish i think will show how much more that a guy can't you can't you can't have given him the major before he's got down 18 yet mm. even with a two-shot lead whereas at the masters there's a little bit more of a okay well the last guys could be on the tee box Sheffield leads by two as long as he doesn't have to re-tee it he's fine mm. yeah i mean but the there yeah. we go. I mean, that's the... Well, I was going to say, that if, if it was the fact that like Homer, Aberg and Scheffler are all seven under going into, third, going into 14, yeah. you're like, mm. wow, yeah. this yeah. is now... So you, you can, you, can you, you know, you can split it either way. You I, know, if someone's running away with it, yeah, right, it's not great. But if we've got it where we've got that three horse, four horse race, then it's yeah. really epic. I, I think potentially we're not giving Scheffler his dues, actually. Yeah. Like, how will he so, play? Because like, everyone else dropped away. Yeah. We're a little bit disappointed, but that's the thing. Yeah. Um, I think we can't um, finish off the Masters segment without having a couple of little roundups of, first of all, Tiger, Tiger Watch. Well done, sir. Um, in his Sunday red. 
uh, his big sweaty Sunday for the race. first time, yeah. isn't it? We've wow. seen that he yeah, was time, yeah. roasting um, <laughs> yeah. in, in that interview afterwards. Uh, yeah. every, I, every day in the in the cabin, he got progressively more sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> like he was he was dripping yeah. after the eighteen. Just, just, the, just towel him off. Just towel him off real quick before you do your interview. I, I don't know because obviously he's he's actively trying to be as hot as possible so he can move his body the way that he wants to. I, I don't know if... Does he like... I know he's rubbing a lot of things on his back kind of after one of the rounds. I don't know if he's like actively doing something to get super, super to hot. To get that sweat. He's got he's he, got those hand warmers in his pocket. Yeah, because yeah, mm. it was warm, but like he literally Not looked like warm. he'd just come out of a sauna. Maybe that was like stress sweat. You know when you go into a really tough exam? <laughs> you come out afterwards, you're like... Oh my God. God, that was horrible. <laughs> um, but he managed to get, listen, he was one of my pre-tournament predictions of being a bit of a disappointment in the fact that I didn't think he'd finish. I didn't think he'd make the cut. And he got through four rounds. Yeah. Well done, sir. Well, he made history. He made history. Made yeah. history yeah. 24 Congratulations. consecutive cuts. I mean, which is absolutely incredible. Who <laughs> was it that said, like, it would be gutted if he missed it and had to start all over again? <laughs> He's like, that's never <laughs> happening. <laughs> <Yeah>. Reset. <laughs> oh, it was, yeah, it was, it, was, it was good to see the fact he made it through. Obviously, the last two rounds, it wasn't playing great. You could see he was suffering at such. Mm. And he said he's targeting to play a Valhalla. So mm. hopefully he can get there. Valhalla, again, pretty hilly golf course. Just, Tiger, just protect yourself to the open. Troon, yeah. pretty much a pancake. <laughs> Very yeah, flat. real flat. Yeah. You'll enjoy yourself there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll carry you around. He's, he's not going to play again before PGA, is he? I don't think no. so. No, he didn't. He, he, so. Said, he said he wants to try it. He said one a month. Yeah, the, so at the beginning of the year, but I think he's probably scaled that down just to the four majors. Yeah, so and this whatever is, else this is his one for April, mm. and then yeah, six yeah. sixteenth of May is PGA. Yeah, so he's not. Yeah, he's not playing. He's not playing because he got Hilton Head this not. this week. Yeah, then it's the Zurich. He's not playing with anyone. Mm -hmm. Then it's uh, the CJ Cup. Definitely not. And then it is um, the Wells Fargo. Yeah, he's Definitely not. He's not doing. He's that. not he's doing not any of that. Now the only hope, unless he wants to play the Myrtle Beach Classic, that is also coming up. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> we almost forgot. I got. I'm starting that video today. What? No, you're not. <laughs> oh, the one before. <laughs> I'm starting the one after. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only hope that the rest of the golfing world has is that Scotty Scheffler is about to be real tired because he's about to become a dad. Yes. So what we're hoping is that you know, becoming a parent for the first time is very difficult and it does tire you out. You don't sleep. Your schedule's completely out of whack. You can't do any of the things you want to do because you're concentrating on keeping this human alive. We, we All we can hope is that for the rest of the majors, you know, it just maybe just levels him out and that the rest of <laughs> the rest of the field can suddenly go, yeah. oh, okay, yeah, we can we can kind of catch him now. Yeah, not a chance. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. There's yeah. always the first dad, like, bump, isn't there? Like, yeah. when they get, have a kid for the first time. <laughs> like, they always... new manager bump. Yeah, literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I, I, think we, I think with Scotty, the way that he seems to approach life and the way he goes about things, I think he's going to make him more positive mm -hmm. about things. Oh, it's going to be great. And he's going to be more settled. And oh. he's going to feel more at ease. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's, it's frankly disgusting. Gives him a new perspective <laughs> on life. And Can you imagine him like just picking up his fifth, sixth green jacket? His kid runs onto the green, you know. It's going to be great. Do you reckon he's got another major in him, major in him this year? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. You'd be yeah. silly not to say, yeah, oh, well, yeah I think. Yeah. It's kind of I mean, annoying, but... <laughs> he's just, yeah. I mean, how much money is he just banked? Almost like $4 million? Uh, 3.6 it was. 3.6. Yeah. Like, if things get tough... He's going to be like, you know what? I could probably spend a few grand on a nanny. Um, yeah. You know, kid. I mean, I don't have kids, but Mick, you can tell me. I'm presuming they don't get that interesting until like three, four, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. And they get um, their personality, a bit of character. Like, like, I would right. say much after that, to be honest. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> so it's kind of like, when I said they're kind of boring until seven. Mm. Oh, it's fine. I've got then. a six-year-old, so I take that back. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, they're great. They're, they're, the thing is, they are just—they are just way more work than you think. That's the only thing is that you—you're kind of like, you know, the, oh, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be tough. There's, you know, we've got a team and we've got family, we've got whatever, but it's just—it's just. They tiring. do have a lot more spare time than the average. This is true. You know, first yeah. first dad kind of. Yeah, mm. it's yeah. not it's not the same as going to your nine to five day job every exactly, day. Is yeah. it? So they, they can make it work. I reckon. I, they can I, handle I, it. I am not worried about the chef. Stay on the private jet while I go and play. Golf. I'm sure Meredith is going to be a wonderful mother. So oh, that's going to be great. Fine. Yeah. Um, speaking of wonderful mothers, <laughs> we have. Okay, where are we going? 
We have confirmed who the best golfer on YouTube is. Bryson DeChambeau. Mm, this is very true. And the king of content as well. Mm. Like when he holed out for that birdie on the 18th on round three, the way he's just carrying signs around everywhere. We need to get a match with him, really. Yeah. We need to get we a yeah, would, yeah. Bryson, if you want to come on the Peter Finch channel, let us know. We'd love to have you. We'd mm. love, we'd love for you to beat Pete by thirty-six shots over eighteen holes. Maybe um, break fifty. <laughs> break 50 <laughs> oh yeah, that's his challenge. We should yeah, go and yeah. do that. That'd be cool. That'd be too easy. Before yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, am I going to get an internet apology for Jason Day's clothing? Um, uh, well, some, I, some people, some I think, people still I, liked it. I think he was very well dressed. I think he looked. He was one of the coolest looking people at the tournament. Mm. I and there were some bad choices that I, should, <laughs> should get mentioned, a, I, aka Wyndham Clark. Yeah, I, yeah min uh, municipal. Yeah. I think. Jason Day played himself out of that tournament during the first two days because how could you not be distracted by you've got two sailing ship sails on your legs? Like he must have almost toppled over on every single shot in that wind. Yep. And then the master, did you see the master told him to take his sweater I did see off that, yeah. yeah. And, and I didn't mind the sweater. I, I, think I the thought the sweater was fine. Yeah. I would have, I would have the trousers sweater. on the first day... I, I I didn't love it. It wasn't my, <laughs> but it wasn't necessarily the style of the trouser. It was the material of the trouser. Didn't think it kind of fit. It was like your fashion watch the, for Jacob. <laughs> I, I just didn't know. I didn't like. But the, the thing that irritated me more, and I'm not going to name any names, but I saw too many people like defending Jason Day's stuff and then like bashing on other people, which is like okay, fair enough. But if you you're obviously defending Jason Day's stuff because he got a lot of hate for what he was wearing. Yeah. So if you're going to hate on something else, you can't go and hate on another person as well. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're if you're kind of like saying that old oh, people can wear what they want to wear, then then the other person can wear what they want to mm -hmm. wear. Now, granted, Sergio Garcia's outfit oh on the first day God. was wow. disgusting. However, that's fine. If he wants to wear that, let him wear it. I love I love talking about golf fashion. I love talking about something I have <laughs> like <laughs> nothing for someone who dresses like quite traditionally and quite down the line on the golf course I don't think you I, of all of us probably Jacob is the best equipped to mm. talk about these things the finger on the pulse yeah but I haven't never have I seen so many ASOS packages <laughs> arrive at our <laughs> office <laughs> that was, that was ASOS Zara Abercrombie Uniqlo they yeah. all come in other clothing manufacturers are available thank you yes for joy, joy. <laughs> uh, but I'm quite I see I'm lucky in the way I dress because I, I have a few things up my sleeve okay I, I will generally dress in quite blocky colours because I'm colourblind. <laughs> so mm. I I can't risk when it gets like a navy blue and a black. I, I can't risk that. So if I'm wearing like a navy blue or black trousers, I need to make sure that the top is much lighter mm. or vice versa. So I'm, you know, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. And I also have a, you know, I, I am also lucky to have a wide selection of clothing to choose from. Mm hmm when you wear jeans, it does freak me out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I got jeans on right now. I know you have. <laughs> I, I am also, I'm very excited about the summer coming around because it's almost short season, so I can just get my shorts back on. That's going to be good. So Kier Kieran's been in that mode about, for the last yeah, five I've months. Got, I've got swimming shorts on. There we go. <laughs> which, going for a quick dip. Outside. Which is a terrible choice. <laughs> off to <laughs> Hollyhead. Want to go on a ferry on me? <laughs> We're not, yeah, we're not, we're not diving off it. All right. That's not a cruise. I mean, I hope not. Like, if the, if the ferry goes down and Kira's like, ah, 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 I got my swimming shorts on, I'll be okay. Goggles. Yeah, it's ready to go. What, what are these in my pockets? <laughs> the armbands on. Dork thinks he's going to drown. Oh, well. <laughs> oh dear. Um, we, before we do get to play it, also a big shout out to Masters Social. Yes. Wow, the social team at the Masters have absolutely outdone themselves this year. Um, like the Masters committee, Fred, really were talking about how they're trying to move with the times, they're trying to do different things. And I think it was an actual acknowledgement by him and by the committee and by kind of people in general that actually people are consuming more of their content and want more information than the Masters away from just the TV. Yeah. Because, and I, you know what? i got to be honest. I think for one of the first times this year, I can understand why. Because the build-up to the actual round was, was was painful at times. Now, there's a few things that I must say about this. Okay. I have done some commentary. And I now understand how difficult it is to fill time. Because you're just chatting. Mm. And you're just desperately trying to find anything to fill that time with before the producer comes in your ear and says... 
I'm here to save you. We're going to this hole. Mm. Like, you can now stop blathering on. <laughs> George, about George Harper has got to where he needs to be. Yeah. <laughs> we George, can go to him now. George Harper <laughs> is on the 12th and he's got someone in fancy dress. There we go. And it's like, fantastic. Okay. Oh, George. Oh, I hear George is out there on the course. That's the blessing. So I can understand it. But unless you had access to uh, featured groups and early coverage, like, if you wanted your master's fix, th there's just so much chat, so much unnecessary nonsense going on, kind of like beforehand. And I think it was maybe because there was such a build-up about the Masters and maybe because everyone was invested in it. Mm. Just want to see the golf. Like, yeah. Just yeah, want to yeah, yeah. see players hitting shots. Yeah. That's all I'm bothered about. I don't yeah. need a 3D rendering of the Masters. <laughs> don't need it. As cool yeah. as it is. I'll tell you what, show me a 3D rendering of the people playing golf right now. Yeah. It, real life 3D rendering. Yeah, I'd like to see them swinging on the course. And, and I could tell that I was getting a bit annoyed and getting a bit old man about it because on that 3D rendering... The, there was a tree out of place on the first hole. Did you see it? Uh, yes. It was like yes. right in front of the green. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, <laughs> this is not even real. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Mm. They're making Henny look a fool here. <laughs> what a waste she of time. She did a great job, Henny. She I did a really good job. Um, um, now, the, the, yeah, I, 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 I'm on board with you completely because there was a point where Tiger was on the course. Rory was out. Brooks was out. Brooks was out, Jason Day was out, Adam Scott was out. I think it might have been the Saturday. Saturday. And they've got bloody... And of course. <laughs> you're going to mention someone here. <laughs> they had Brad Faxton in there. Yeah. Very knowledgeable golf man. Excellent. Um, they had a couple of other puntity jobs. <laughs> Nick Faldo in there and all. He was great. Two iron. <laughs> um, let me tell you about this. Yeah, let me tell let me tell you about how I won the Masters. Nick, we're not even on air. <laughs> um, Scott is walking up the 18th. <laughs> <laughs> this, takes, this takes me yeah. back. This takes me back to '89. Like <laughs> God's sake! <laughs> but like these players were out on the course, mm. and like you said, if you didn't have access to featured groups, or if you didn't have the Masters uh, website open with the you know shots playing on the My Groups feature or whatever. Uh -huh. You're missing the golf while mm. these old fogies are chatting about stuff they did years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you get kind of ex-players on, it, they do offer that perspective. And obviously, you know, Sir Nick has won the Masters a couple of times, if you didn't know. Yeah, well done, sir. And Back to back, I'll have you know. Back to back. Um, and in the playoff, did you know that? And he gives... <laughs> He does give insights on the course that, that are quite interesting, but it, it's a hard mix. And, you know, we are not, like... TV broadcasting kind of experts. I, I, I know a small amount that goes into it now, but the, the whole scale of the operation is is unbelievable. But I think if they do want to, you know, engage people in golf more, and we know that the viewership is dropping off over this past year because of the split and all the rest of it, getting all the golfers together again just seemed a, a, an opportunity to do something with mm. the coverage which was novel, which was oh my golf. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think what what actually happened is that very likely Sky where the where we were watching it in the UK probably didn't have access to live golf until seven o'clock. Yeah. It, it was CBS, I think. Yes. Yeah. So what happens is probably that broadcaster in the US has got the rights to show the golf, and in the US they don't show the golf anyway. They show you forty five minutes of ads an mm. hour, so you're not but seeing I, any hits anyway. Yeah, it's just yeah. the fact that they is the same every year. We've heard oh. that we've heard yeah. a lot of these stories every year, and you know we just need some. In Something different. Something like, else, yeah. Get someone that's missed the cut and like, you know, get them in. You yeah. know, yeah. Like, <laughs> like just someone different. Do you know what I'm sick of hearing? Speaking I'm sick of cut. I'm sick of yeah. hearing how the the older players being surprised that the newer players are hitting shorter clubs into greens. Mm. I hate that. Oh, I, I remember having to hit a three iron in here. He's got a seven iron in hand. Yeah, they hit it further than you. What was the other one? That They've was, got new equipment. Oh, um, anytime Nick Doherty was mentioning about aim point and you could hear Butch go... Every time, it was so good. But she's really good. I love oh, it. Yeah, so it. Good. Listen, it, they're so smart and they're so knowledgeable, but the the yeah. coverage was was a struggle That's at times. The thing. I yeah, and it, I, like I said, I, I I do love Butch as well. It, it just it does go to show like people have their favourites, and yeah, it oh, is, yeah. it's so yeah. it's so yeah. like mm. opinion based. But the, the, there's definitely something that needs to change and needs to adapt and needs to evolve and like you mentioned about the the masters app like it's a real shame because for another year we're not going to get to use the best app yeah. available oh, yeah. on the iphone so good yeah, yeah. or android if you're a bit weird <laughs> 
<laughs> so true. I'm, I'm, get, I, every, I, get a real phone. What's wrong with you? Let's another one. Google Store or something. Google I, Pixel. I know a lot of Android users now are great people. We shouldn't judge them because of that. You know what? In fact, if you're an Android user, you're probably fighting against the machine. So respect. <laughs> <laughs> You um, beat you against the man and yeah. you're winning. <laughs> Respect, Colin. How, um, how did we do in our major picks? What did we, what, what did we get Have we to? told it up? I'm not sure we have, have we? Have it's, it's the next thing we're about to do. But cool. first I wanted to mention thank you to um, the Discord for setting up the kind of internal Masters one. I, we'll, we'll put up here who won the oh, yeah. internal look at that. Discord. Uh, you I had won. to pick them in the app. So that was the in-app one, completely right. separate. Yeah. No stakes on it. Just a bit of fun. Thank you, for, thank you to Discord for setting that up. I will now tell you how we did. Okay, here we go. And then we're on to guess the player. So and then we're going to guess the player, correct? <laughs> All right, you stretched. Yeah, that was, that was quite far to reach, that, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I, I, I hurt my back. Uh, hurt my back in the shower. Um, Did you have a fall? No, I very dramatically turned around to grab the shampoo. <laughs> but your and back out. my lower back on my left side like literally went into spasm and, lock, oh. and locked up it, it's, it's a lot looser today but i was panicking yesterday oh, i was like uh when um, we were driving to golf on sunday and mick was popping and locking in the passenger uh, as, seat and his neck like cracked it was, it was i don't you think popping and locking should be is, done i think for, this is ageist <laughs> it, um I, when we go outside to get in the car later on you'll actually see that i had a i had a fairly dramatic sunday Back locked up, and I now have a new car. Oh. oh! Did you crash it? No. Something incredible. Well, I think I know what's happened. <laughs> what's so? I sat from my mum and dad's driving back to Preston, and I just something starts to make a bit of an eerie, like bit of a bit of a screeching noise. I imagine this is what the sirens would have sounded like if you were sailing on the open seas back in Greek bin, Greek times. Mm. There was like a screeching. And I was like, is that coming from the car? I opened the window a little bit and we were driving down a relatively... Classic technique, by yeah, the way. <laughs> driving down a relatively narrow road and like the echo of this screech was like, as we passed the car, it was like... Rah, rah. <laughs> and it was like coming back into the, the car and I was like, what the crap? It's not like, stop the car. I had a look under it. There was nothing. And I was like, right, okay, fine. Set off again, it was okay. And then about 10 minutes later, we started again. And I was like, oh God. And we were going past kind of like a friend's house and pulled in. And it's either the brake has locked on or there's something which is inside the brake caliper. Is that what it's called? Yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah. And it was just gouging out the disc. And wow. I was like, oh crap. Yeah, that's not good. That's bad. And I was like, the worst thing is, I'm, I'm there, I'm like, well, you know, this, this happens if there's a stone stuck in there or something. It's, there's worse things that can happen. But I'm driving back to Manchester, getting stuff sorted, and we're taking that car on the ferry to Ireland. I'm like, I don't need this on Master mm. Sunday. This is meant to be... This, this <laughs> Not is, on this holy day. This is, this is the one day of the year where I just want to relax. I want to park my ass right in front of the couch and just chill out. Mm -hmm. But I had to get that car collected. I had to get another car dropped off. Big shout to BMW customer service, by the way. Yeah, they do it in that, that quickly. Got it all done in four hours. That's very good. Wow. So I got a new car outside, which is, is guess it, what? Is same, it an IX? Same guess car? what? It's exactly the same car. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent work. It's probably good. You need the space. <clears throat> yeah. So that and my back locking up wasn't ideal. So how are we getting on the major bits? Um, okay. So we'll go, we'll we'll stick the teams up here. But basically the, the, the major picks draft for this year, Jacob's team, Kepka, Hovland, Aberg, Cameron Smith, Kieran's team, Ram, Shoffle, Matsuyama, Dustin Johnson, Peter's team, McElroy, Clark, Zalatoris, Moronk, my team, Scheffler, Cantley, Fitzpatrick, and Neiman. Any comments so far? Victor Hovland, you fool. You've let me down. <laughs> yeah. Wyndham Clark, keep your trap shut, son. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Actually, no, don't. You're one of the interesting players, so keep going. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, one miscut. Yeah, Victor Thanks, Hovland, Victor. 60 points for him. Well done. Mm -hmm. Kepka, 45. Aberg, 2. Smith, 6. Yeah. So you're... you're uh, there's a Taylor bit of a split halves, there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's not halves. horrible. It's not it's horrible. It's okay. What was my overall? Um, overall, you are going to be 113. Yeah, mm, it's okay. It's okay. Any, I think any time you can keep in double digits, you've had a good... Yeah. You've had a good... You oh, are okay. second. Oh, I, I am. I, oh. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. It's, pretty, it's very good. Yeah, thank you. In tied... Third? Yeah, if mm -hmm. that's... These T two. T3. Ram, 
Shoffle, Matsuyama, Johnson, 45, 8, 38, miss cut. Mm. Johnson with 60 there. Yeah. Didn't gonna, Dustin Johnson yeah, not have a single birdie? Yeah, yeah he's got, I'm going to really struggle with him. <laughs> <laughs> he I'm might, gonna, be, a, gonna, he really, might be a quick uh, transfer. I'm going to really, really struggle with him. Yeah. Um, Peter Finch did... What what it looks like is that you did the worst because you have two missed cuts. Mm. However, your other players made up for it. So you had Clark and Moronk both missed the cut, but you had Zalatoris 9, McElroy 22. Mm. Not horrible. You two both 151 points. Oh, wow. It's all right. It's ill since first major. It's an early... It's an early panic. I currently am winning. Oh, here we go. Scheffler won. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that's only one point, everyone. Yeah, yeah. that is one point. Which is great. And then... Weirdly enough, all three of my other players were T22. Yeah. That's pretty good. There's a lot of people on T22. Cantlay, right? Fitz, Neiman, McElroy, all T22. Yeah, there's, so lo- there's loads of T22s. I'm on 67. 67, 113, 150. Oh, wow. It's quite a big... Yeah. Big jump. Mm. Big Excellent. Jump. Have you got pen and paper ready? I have. It's time for g g g guest player Welcome to the 2024 Rough Cut Open. A game where your knowledge of golf history is more important than your ability to actually hit the ball. How the game works. At the end of each episode, I describe the life and career of a famous golfer. And after each clue, these accomplished professionals write down who they think it is. However many hints it takes them to get home is how many shots they took on that hole. So, if you get to par 5 after just 4 clues, you would finish that hole in 1 under par. Here are the current standings. Let's rejoin the action as the players tee off. Welcome to Guest Player. Um, this is the... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're, you guys, you're always welcome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're playing a par four. It's uh, going to be tough. Okay, friends? I don't, don't like that. Okay, friends. Um, play along at home. If you're in the car, play, you know, verbally. Don't write anything down because that's dangerous. Um, if you're watching on the YouTube. Stick your stick how you did below. Shot number one. This player did kung fu as a kid. It's a par four, so you're not. Sp- it's not even drivable. It's a long one. This player, shot number one. This player did kung fu as a kid. Everybody was kung fu. Great tune. Um, but, but not practical because everyone couldn't have been kung fu fighting because mm. that's not that's not a realistic thing to happen, is it? Yeah. And yeah. everyone wasn't fast as lightning. Yeah, but yeah. also, like, Whitney Houston's not every woman. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's allegorical. Do you know what I mean? So, if we're going to talk about lyrics and reality. Oh, who's got that dog in him? Who's got that in him? It could be him. Could um, we've had him, though. But. You, may also, you may also see, in the very near future, guess the player come into a short-form content Um, stream so tiktok and reels i've done very short versions of some guests of players so that you can beat your friends at it on the internet cool okay solid drive obviously green isn't reachable new (laughs) shot number two he that's a good start Mm -hmm. became the first golfer to win the ben hogan award in two consecutive years the award is given to the best player in college golf in the United States. He became the first golfer to win the Ben Hogan Award in two consecutive years. The award is given to the best player in college golf in the United States. And just stumped. That's a good clue. That's a good clue, yeah. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Everybody was okay. Just gonna keep my uh, keep my guess. Still not getting an era though. Mm. This could be anyone in golf. Mm. I'm. I you ha- listen. You haven't got PGA Tour first start. You haven't got no. date of birth. Date of birth. Usually a favourite. All, all we know he's alive. Is well, we don't know he's alive. No, actually. no. All we know is the man, and he started playing golf after Ben Hogan. That's, that's true. Yeah. We do after have the Ben Hogan an Award was, after the after the Ben Hogan Award was instigated. Yes, that is true. Which I still don't know the information for, but you are correct. <laughs> now is it now? It, it does. And the kung of. fu. Don't forget the kung fu. Yeah, the kung fu is very oh, important. Of course. Yeah. So he was a black belt in taekwondo, and they played college golf. Mm. Mm. Pra- it's practically out to temple. Actually, I'll, yeah. give, I'll give you a free drop. They also did canoeing as a kid. 
Did they? Yeah. Okay. You, you don't know that, do you? You just made that up. No, it's a hundred percent a fact. But I just put the kung fu one because it was the most interesting. I have no idea. Um, so I've just kept it the same. I've just kept it the same. Okay. <clears throat> At the moment, this shot, guy. Shot number three. This is for Birdie. In 2021, he tested positive for something. His first positive test. Having that dog in him. <laughs> his first positive test meant he had to withdraw from the Memorial Tournament oh. while six clear with 18 holes to play. And his second positive result meant he couldn't play in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. In 2021, he tested positive for something. It's not a drug, unfortunately. It's just I don't want to say that word because it will get flagged. His first positive test meant he had to withdraw from the Memorial Tournament while six clear with 18 holes to play. And his second positive result meant he couldn't play in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. I, I think I've got it. Everyone yeah. think they've got yeah. it? I think I've got yeah, it? Yeah, I think I've got it. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was... a. Uh, uh, there's a big collection area on the screen, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No water. It's in a bowl. It's in a bowl. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's, uh, it's, it's in a bowl. It's like a sh the entrance to the green is like a chute. God, I love that. And then it basically some like curbs come up. Mm. And then it just runs through a windmill and into the hole. If uh, if you think this is over though, by the way, the, the amount of times that Kieran says, "I've got this," yeah, no, that's and a, turns out to be literally nowhere near. That's that's <laughs> what I'm not. I'm, don't I'm don't not don't commit until yeah. you hear this one. Shot number four, and this is your tap in for par. He is one of four players from Spain to win the Masters. He is one of four players from Spain to win the Masters. I told you it was a tap in. He got that doll. He got that doll. Okay, so if you haven't got it now, you're going to be over par for this hole. Here comes your bogey putt. At the 2023 Open Championship, this player shot the 40th 63 in major history and the first at Royal Liverpool. At the 2023 Open Championship, this player shot the 40th 63 in major history and the first at Royal Liverpool. No one's changing their answers. I don't remember that. Yeah, I do. On the third day, when everyone was like, everyone was struggling, and he just went absolutely Sweet. nuts, but still couldn't catch Harmon. Wow. Yeah. Um, y if you haven't got it now, you're going to be two over, but don't worry, that's the worst you can do. Shot number six for double. We all know that Scotty Scheffler won the 2024 Masters, but the man who clothed him in green is today's player. The pain from Spain. The short backswing hard whack king. Inspiration for that famous song by Kasabian, John Ram Rodriguez. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so how did we do? Yeah, birdie. Birdie did. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no. He's got that dog in him! <laughs> oh, <man. coughs> Can't argue with I'll, be honest, I'll be honest, I didn't know the second wow. one. I just kept the same. That was fair fight. Good, <laughs> good Lord above. Um, if you are only listening and haven't seen what you have just seen, Kieran just got a hole in one. Come on! Wow. He's got that dog in him. That was extraordinary. Wow. I d All right then. I, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Like, literally... Literally taking me back. The way you were talking, I thought you'd got a birdie. No, nah, yeah. I, well, I, I kept. I didn't know about the head Ben Hogan one, but then obviously that I knew, so I just kept it. And then I guessed him because he's got that bit of a. He's got. Yeah. He's got that kung fu. It'll twist it. He also played high lie. Do you know what high lie is? No. It's the one with the like. You have this like big curved hook. Oh, the curvy thing. And you throw, throw it, it against. Oh yeah. Wow. You can tell he was very aggressive, apart yeah. from canoeing, which is. Pretty chill. Well, um, so we're going to play the Discord after this, but I think we can probably presume that yeah, Kieran I'm, is. I'm pretty sure that they will not get it on hold yeah, on shot Kieran's number one. Gonna won that so one. well done, Kieran Mulhall. Well done, Kieran Mulhall. That was fantastic. I've never seen anything like it from it's Kieran. Unbelievable. Before. Wow. Fantastic. That's, that's like when you hit, you hit your tee shot and you look down the fet and you're like, I'm pretty sure I hit it straight. And you're like, Let, I'll just I'll just check the hole. Like it, it's not going to be in there. I'll just oh there it is. Let's not be too <laughs> thingy like. I only picked him because I thought he was the hardest man. Because <laughs> he's well tough. Yeah. Because he did the kung fu. You know what I mean? He's got that little gouge. Wow. You know. Brilliant. Okay. Well, uh, well done, Mick. Thank you very much for that. Um, scores are kind of displayed. What is it? 
I think you're still winning. S- I yeah, think he's I, winning. I'm yeah. winning all tie with Discord, I think. I think but you're one up, potentially. One up. We'll yeah. put the scores up here. We'll put the scores up here. Uh, but very good. Um, obviously, we've got a full week uh, of content this week in Ireland that we are going to be filming. Fingers crossed with the weather. Some exciting videos coming for that and mm-hmm. some exciting videos coming on the main channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel here on the Rough Cut, make sure you do that now and yeah. give us a follow on your favourite podcast provider and we're gonna we're gonna close with a quote oh. <laughs> on this podcast which we've which we've never done before um could be a new feature it could it could okay. be a new feature i really like it so, dramatic music a, a touch a little bit just a touch yeah yeah well the last time we tried to end on anything i tried to do a joke and absolutely butchered it so hopefully this will go a bit better i mean this is fun because i'm reading off a script <laughs> okay. Um, okay good so this was from max homer <laughs> after <laughs> his round <laughs> Okay. This we're just, is we're just gonna end this. We don't say anything. We're yeah. just going to end on this, okay? Music. Okay. Just... So <laughs> this was uh, basically about the, the approach to golf that Max is having. He said, if I catch myself thinking about what could go wrong, I let myself dream of what could go right. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next time. Cheers.